Hey guys, it's Michael here from Painting Miniatures. I have been looking at a way to make some awesome haunted uh, cavalry for my um, Kings of War Undead Army. And then I came up with a nice theme or palette which contains Nylac Oxide. I don't know if it's my idea. I can assume that there will be some more ideas, but I just fine tuned it a little bit more to have some more colors included in it. So, first off, of course, you use the Nylac, Nylac, Nihilac Oxide. Then, when you're done uh, with the uh, Nihilac Oxide, which is a technical paint, so it's pretty uh, watery, uh, it's time to go for some verdigris or something like that, which is about the same. As you can see, just a slightly bit thicker and gives some more nice contrast and fills in the black gaps which you get when you undercoated it black. After that, and that's about the only thing you need, you need some dead white. This is awesome. This color scheme is awesome. The only thing you need to do after that, sorry for that, I needed to uh, reseat. The only thing you need to do after that is just base the miniature once more, but everybody knows how to base miniatures. So I'm not going to paint those, I'm going to paint the cavalry. This is how it should look, and I think it looks awesome. We start off with a black undercoated miniature, and I use a base brush L from Citadel Miniatures. Give the paint a good stir, or a good shake. As you can see, it's pretty watered down. I didn't do it, but here comes the hard part. You dip it in, make sure you have a nice good dip, and then you just smack that paint on there. Go for a couple of thin coats, so that you don't have any uh, lumps or details missing. Because when you do this good, you get some of the coolest miniatures you actually can get. So it's basically uh, kicking the paint on. Get it in every crevice, get it in every lump, or get it everywhere you can find it. You can put some paint on. So for the first coat, this should look like this. Keep on going. Don't get yourself demotivated because it doesn't look cool. No, it doesn't look cool, but oh my god, the end is really cool. The print, uh, the end is awesome. So I just keep on doing this, and after I got the first coat on, I'll take another miniature where I'm busy at right now, and then we're going to go for the next coat, so you can see that it actually fills up the gap pretty nice of the first coat. So yeah, I hope to see you soon. See you in a couple of minutes. After you're done painting with the uh, first uh, round of paints, let this dry. Uh, it won't fill up, but if you use the uh, paint like it should, then you would have a really nice coat. Oh, I see there's a little bit too thick paint right here. Let's just take them off because you'd need some couple of really light coats to get it a nice and firm layer. So, uh, this is about the, uh, the max you can get for the first round. On to the next round and I'll just show you with a miniature which is ready painted for the first round so you can see what it should look like. So when you uh, did the first one and it's dry, just paint over it again and the eventual result will be for a third one or a third round will be something like this and this is what you're looking for. After this, this just needs to be uh, drying just a tiny bit more, say just five to ten minutes and after that you will be painting on or dry brushing on the uh, Ferdigris color which just brightens up the miniature and after that you will get a heavy dry brush of that white and then you're done. Simple as that. I am done. using the medium dry but I'm actually thinking of using the large dry brush but it's not really dry yet from my previous antics. So take a good dab of it Something like that. And wipe it clean on your brush. This is perfect. If you can see. See? That's, that's perfect. 
and then just start wiping it on the miniature. What you see immediately is that it gets some, some different tones. It might look like white, but don't get distracted. It still looks like Ferdigris white or Dwinella. Because this just is a really light color. It's pretty hard to see that it is actually a blue color. And compared to the, um, to the Nylac Oxide, it really is something cool to see. So keep on doing this, keep on dry brushing like, uh, like you see here. I don't know if you can see it, but let's just continue. See, it's starting to look a little bit more like this, and now it's off to the really heavy dry brush of per plain white. That white, that is. Still have some here on my cup, because I did some more videos today. And now it's off to Captain Awesome. Because this one really punches the, uh, the miniature. Pound it hard. Give those awesome cool lines of ghastly, ghostly things. Just keep on hitting it, keep on hitting it until you have some clear lines. There you go. And painting ghosts is as easy as this. So now it's finished, and now you can see that it actually looks a bit like the other one I just painted. Only this time, there is more white on. And it looks pretty damn amazing. So I hope you like this tutorial. Like I said, you only need three paints, which is the Nihilex Oxide, the Dead White, and the Fertigris. And then you can make awesome miniatures like this. So let me just uh, finish my rest of my cavalry. And when I get back, I might even do a review video on these miniatures because I think it actually looks pretty good. This is also a really nice addition to the, um, the Undead Army of Kings of War. Just to show you the versatility of a Kings of War game. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.